We're at a tank blade, armored pants here. Have another review if you didn't know. Uh, T3485 the Rudy, uh, which is in the shops now on the Black Friday. So it's a Russian tier 7 medium. It's for sale for 3250, 3250 gold, which is about 9.99 euros, about 9 quid or about 11 dollars. It's a very good medium tank in tier 7. It's a typical Russian medium. Um, if you like those type of tanks, it's for you. They say it's Russian because actually this tank featured in a Polish TV series. It's a solid credit error, their coefficient 150%. And as always, a caveat, don't get this tank if you're new because tier 7 requires, in my opinion, 4 to 5,000 games experience if you want to play well there. So if you're not that experienced, I'd consider going for one of the lower tier tanks. Or buy the tank when it's on sale, watch this video, practice with it um, in uh, training rooms, etc. And then when you're ready, go into actual battles. So otherwise, you're going to get smashed. You won't enjoy it. Your teammates definitely won't enjoy it. And um, yeah, you uh, just uh, will uh, your win rate will suffer and all your all those other things. Win eight, win seven, and all that will go down. So just a bit of caveat for you. So let's look at the tank. As you said, it's a tier seven uh, Russian medium tank. So it's effectively the same tank as its tier six uh, equivalent, but as its premium tank, and uh, they've up tiered it and uh, given it a bit of extra uh, bells and whistles. The major one is that's a DPM monster, right? That 85 mil 85 millimeter gun is very reliable. So it's nice alpha rolls, good pen even on the AP rounds as you can see. But the amazing thing about this is it has a 4.5 second reload, um, which goes down to uh, just four when you drop the adrenaline. So you will pump out damage in this thing. Uh, the gun is reliable and accurate for a, a Russian gun. Um, has nice alpha rolls, but it's a bit of a DPM monster. I mean. It also has eight degrees of gun depression, as you can see here, which is very good for a Russian tank. Um, so uh, it's all around a very good tank. It's fast, it was 54 kilometers in a straight line. Uh, reverse is 20 kilometers an hour. So uh, it's terrain friendly, gets around any map. There's no map that doesn't really suit it. Um, and all around a good solid to tier seven medium tank. And uh, well able to compete with any of the Germans or their good tier seven mediums. Um, on the front, the gun mantle obviously you can't pen. And um, you will get some angles and bounces on the front of it because, like all Russian mediums, uh, it does have some armor. And you can see there, you can get some good angles going on the front. And you'll see in the games that I play, I do get some good bounces. Uh, on the back, obviously, it is vulnerable on the sides. It's vulnerable, but then you know that for medium tank play. Um, let's have a look at it here. As you can see, front on, if you're against tier six, almost impossible to pen. You're going to get lots of bounces. Against tier 7, it's even still going to haul its own, especially if you go hold down. And even against tier 8, when you're up tiered, um, hold down is still very difficult to pen. So it will bounce some shots. But you'll see there with the orange that if you angle it right, you will get some nice bounces on it. It says here it's recommend peekaboo, uh, long range sniping. Is that good? Circle of death, it's good. It's good in brawling if you don't get, uh, if you're not face hugging a heavy, if you get around them. It's also good for hit and run. Um, so it is a whole range of tactics open to it and a whole and across all maps as I said there's no map that doesn't really suit it. Um, the historical reference is that this actually uh, featured in a Polish TV show called uh, Four Tank Men and a Dog and that was their tank but of course the Polish army actually didn't have those tanks in the Second World War so it's kind of a fictional tank in that respect although the tank itself did exist. But you know it's a decent tank. Uh, actually it's a very very good tank and um, definitely I would recommend getting it especially now while it's such good value if you compare 10 euros compared to what some of the stuff in the store was for sale for fucking crazy prices fucking 89 99 that fucking scorpion thing they have if you want to guarantee getting that in the crates it's 160 euro 160 euro for a fucking pixelated tank somebody is smoking the fucking ganja over there in Minsk what the fuck do they think we're fucking made of money I mean honestly um, who the fuck has 160 euros to spend getting a fucking scorpion tank? You know, so I mean, like I haven't seen, um, you know, many people playing it, and for a good fucking cause, right? But this tier seven now, this is more like it, right? Fucking 10 euros, right? I could take that, right? 10 euros, couple of points, right? So, yeah, I'll forego a couple of points, and I'll get this, but I'm not foregoing fucking oh, 160 euros. Forget about it. It's not even worth talking about. Now, um. Here I'm uh, playing the, so here you are, some gameplay here, um, holy fuck, that's the last thing you want to see, I'm forcing right up your arsehole, that is just going to cause all sorts of havoc, I mean that would just be fucking, that is a prison round right there, 
he could just one shot you with a fucking HE round right up the arsehole, but thankfully um, he didn't get a shot on me, so I was able to take him out there. Didn't bother switching the HE because I knew I might have to come on and face the T43, so I just left it at AP. Because if I switch to HE and then I come back onto the T43, I'm not going to do any damage. Whereas I know I can do damage with both if I keep AP open, so that's why I didn't select HE there. Um, and I put in some nice shots here, and you saw I got a nice bounce there, it deflected another shot. Ooh, almost going down. Now, what the fuck's going on here? Jesus, I'm getting fucking deliverance found here. Look, I'm getting pummeled up the arsehole. Look at the fuck coming behind me here. Look at bollocks. But uh, now he's in a long reload, so on my fast reload, I'm going to take him out. There you go, my friend. That's fucking. Jesus, that was a fucking prison shower scene there from fucking Joshank Redemption on me. Did not like that at all. Now, this little fella here, T43, put some damage into him. I check where the heavies are, they're all occupied over there in the town, so I'm gonna go after him. Uh, put another one into him, him, into him there, and it was a one shot for me. Um, I have a couple of misses here, and he gets a lucky bounce coming up here, as you can see. Um, and he going up the hill, he just angles at the right moment and gets the bounce there, and he's saying, Oh, nice, nice for him. But look at this, this is what I mean about this going, look at the reload. It allows me to correct that mistake, or that error, or that the RNG that was in his favor, whatever it was, and uh, continue on, take him out. Um, now you're going to see, I'd like to point out some lazy play that's coming up here um, because I know that this game is won now and I come up here in the Yag Panther and I know that I've saved my hit points so I actually get very lazy here and I just take my first shot and I don't even bother going back into cover I just stay there and line up my shot because I know I can take one from him take him out, get me for a kill we know that the T-34 is preoccupied so he's not getting a shot on me so that was lazy play but I wouldn't recommend that but no, I just decided to do that because I knew I could. And there you go. Last kill for me, so that's five kills in this game. And I think it's a first class mastery band, isn't it? I think if I remember correctly. Um Yes it is, there you go. So I'm 2.2 kill damage for the kills. And that's the first class mastery badge in the Rudy. In the second game, I'm um, just trying to show you this because um I did something here and, and you know I often do this by play medium or light um, on this map. I go to B. Now, this is risky, but it can work out very badly for you, because you can get hit by both sides, but if it does work out well, you capture B, and it's sort of, I call this, the Spanish Inquisition tactic, because nobody expects it. Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition! Um, if you've heard of Monty Python fans there, I'm sure will get that reference. Um, if you don't get that reference, you probably just think I'm mental. But, um, and the troop is somewhere in between. Uh, try a snapshot there, and don't get it. But I do get a couple of shots on him here. I'm trying to help out my mate there in the hell can get two shots into him. And I almost got a kill shot in there, but uh, he actually backs off. So we just, we just go around, see if we can so come out, see if we can get a kill shot on him. If not, I try to come up and flank um, on the other side. Um, now, as I said, that tactic worked out well for us there because we now have two bases. I'll try to shine this guy here. Balls, look at this. Balls, look at that. Um, so we have two bases and actually we win this game on points in the end so you can see that that tactic um, did work out there for us um, but it doesn't work out all the time you can get really caught across for and get uh, smashed but um, that's the Spanish Inquisition and nobody really expects it and um, oftentimes it does work out so now I'm kind of looking there I like, you know, like I make a lot of mistakes in this game I put the wrong side of that hill there because you're looking at the fucking looking around me at the fucking mini map and at the opposition and this guy is put to put his full clip into me and what the problem is now and I actually got a, a bounce there on him is that uh, now he's on a wrong, wrong long reload and um, I actually uh, can use my uh, um, when he's far off, far off my DPM little monster here in the Rudy put a lot of hurt on him so actually um, if I get him now because he is because um, we have come on both sides of him so not only does that tactic allow me to capture a base but also allows me to cook behind the opposition take him out now we get into a bit of a fucking feeding frenzy here um, like a fucking shark and a fucking whale carcass so you fucking just go bananas here now and just fucking start pinging shots all over the place and missing them um, and um, yeah I think I need to go now there'll be three shots or something like that for them yeah so you know I broke my own gold room there rule which is aiming is maiming right you need to take your time and aim and I was just fucking around there now but I just, just lost ahead a bit there didn't I but anyway got another kill and um, we are 3v2 now but I think we have to make a kind of crossfire plus we have the points um, and I know I can take it um, 
out to these guys up here in the ridge. Now this is my little brother here, T3345. Um, again I make a kind of mistake here, I see him coming around behind me so I angle up, get in front of him, but I um, kind of um, come out um, with my nose, come out like face onto him, take one, and uh, I actually could get him in tracks which puts me just now about on the same hit points but of course we have a uh, faster reload plus I have that armor that he doesn't have so that armor and the faster reload shows the difference between the tier 7 and the tier 6 and I'm able to pop one into him there take him out and that wins us the game so there we go uh, second class mastery badge there just hardly put this in here to show that um, I got a mastery badge but I didn't record it um, just to see what you need, so you get you need a 3.5k damage and 5 kills. That's because there's so many people playing at the moment, right? And why didn't I record it? Well, I'll be very honest with you because I was on the toilet and um, I often just pop in for a quick game when I'm on the toilet and um, I actually forgot to record it. So I thought, yeah, that's probably a bit too much information for you there, but anyway. So, recap key points. Um, this is a great tank, um, it is a great value. Um, it is in the shops now at a very reasonable price, so get it. It's an excellent medium tank for spotting, scouting, flanking, as you saw, examples of all of those in the game. Fantastic rate of fire, 4.5 second reload, 4 when you drop the adrenaline. Uh, decent alpha rolls and has a good gun for Russian. Put Russian in brackets there because it's kind of Polish. Um, has 8 degrees of gun depression, which is not bad at all for a Russian medium tank. And you can use that, and of course, with that turret army you can go hull down. It's a circle dead monster. It's a great brawler with that rate of fire. Um, get it, play it and enjoy it because it won't let you down. It's a fantastic tank, great value and something that's um, really um, sort of reasonable right now from our game compared to some of the other show you had. Hammer, right, subscribe and follow and like us and all that shit or don't or whatever. All right, cheers much, see you now, take it easy. See you now, boys, cheers, boys, boys.